trends that young professionals are going to be facing in the next 10 to 20, 30 years are not all that different from those that they've been looking at for the past 10, but they're going to be more intense. The biggest change, I think, going into this next couple of decades is that the pace of change will be accelerating. Education has become a much more important factor in people's career advancement, but it's an ongoing education. It's not just the original that you start off with college. You're going to be seeing the economics of the entire country shifting, going from being more recession-oriented towards something that's more concerned with inflation. You're going to be seeing a lot more competition coming in from other professions and from other parts of the world. The U.S. has become a serious international player, which means that it's more affected by what's happening in Europe, by what's happening in China. Those are going to be factors that play into even the domestic side of economics and the domestic side of business. Accountants in general have been changing in terms of their focus for the last 10 or 15 years, and that also will accelerate. The accountant as advisor is becoming the watchword for most firms which means that they're having to keep up not only with their own profession but with the companies that they represent and the companies they work with. Nothing has changed as quickly in the United States as, say, manufacturing or construction. Huge areas of the U.S. economy that are now in a, in a rebuild mode or are shifting in reaction to what's happening globally. There's also a lot of conversation about what happens in terms of demographics, that you have an aging population in the U.S at the same time that you have a much younger population distribution in countries throughout the world. You're looking at nations like Mexico where half the population is under 30 versus the United States where we have a population of baby boomers moving towards retirement at a very rapid clip. It's going to be affecting the young professional in a couple of ways. One, it's going to be much more difficult to move up the ranks when you have people who are not as anxious to leave the workforce as they may have been in the past. They're also likely to see their retirement age shift. The retirement situation was originally devised, assuming that people would retire at 65 and demographics said they would be dead by 68. Um, now, if you were going to use those same figures, that same logic, you would have people retiring at 85, uh, which obviously is not going to be happening soon. But over time, you're going to be seeing a lot less retirement at the 60 age or at the 65 age. The third thing that really I think will be affecting the young professional going forward is simply the change in the dynamics of, of modern communication. <clears throat> it is now considerably easier for companies in far-flung parts of the world to compete, even when it comes to service offerings. One of the more dramatic changes in the last couple of years has been the growth of the Philippine economy, simply based on the fact that they have become the source for outsourced medical transcription. You're now seeing a tremendous growth in the number of outsourced options for accounting, for law, that's likely to accelerate going into the future so that not only will be people competing against firms in their own community, they'll be competing with firms across the world. Finally, maybe the, the most interesting change as far as the young professional is concerned is sort of the wide open nature of that business. That is now possible for people to play a much bigger role in terms of, of the profession than they may have played in the past, primarily because there will be fewer people in, in the average firm. There's a lot more emphasis being placed on productivity, getting as much as you possibly can out of a particular staff but that also allows people to do a tremendous amount of expansion personally as well as professionally.